starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. Well, all I can say is I'm terribly surprised. You have to sign it, you know. I know I have to sign it, and I don't welcome the thought. Jeff, how could you possibly have gotten a D in geography? I thought that was your favorite subject. And a C in arithmetic? Well, C is average. It says so right there. Well, if that's all you want to be is average, that's perfectly all right with me. I was under the impression that you were slightly above average. What did Miss Robbins say? Same thing. Jeff, we're going to have to do something about these grades this summer. Well, I'll do better next term, Mom. I promise. Yeah. You got any ideas, Ellen? No. Well, I have. As head of the school board, it's my duty to hire a junior janitor, uh, I mean, a custodian for oh, the summer. No, Gramps. Well, I don't know, Jeff. You just might soak up some knowledge being around the school during the summer. Heaven forbid you should open a book. It's not fair. Well, why? Why not? You get 50 cents for going down there twice a week, sweeping the floor and airing the place out. Well, it's not right. Neither are these grades. Never mind my neck. You come out of there. You're dark. You're still grown. Lassie, that's enough. Stop it. Now come out. Oh, I didn't mean to hurt you. Then what'd you slam the window on my neck for? Uh, I thought you were after me. I was. You're not supposed to be in there. What's your name? Valentin Salinko. And what were you doing in there? Stealing something? Oh, no. I was just looking. Looking for what? Why do you ask me all these questions like a policeman? Because I'm the school caretaker. You? The caretaker? No, I cannot be. Come on, I'll show you. There. You see? But you're so young to be a caretaker. What is your name? Jeff Miller. Do you do this every day? No, just twice a week. School just got out Friday. It's why the blackboard's still dirty. You sure you didn't steal anything from here? No. Well, you'd better leave. Just because my father works his harvest, just because we move from place to place, everybody thinks we steal. My father is as good as anybody else. He was a hero in the war. The United States gave him three medals and helped us come to this country. We are good citizens. We don't steal. How would you like to help me? Here. Don't worry about your sheep. Lassie's the best sheep dog in the whole county. I wish I had a dog like her. I wish I had a lot of things. A place to live all the time and a school to go to. And books. You like to go to school? Sure, I like to learn. It's hard because we move around so much. Oh, is that why you sneaked in there? I thought maybe there were some books I could read. But it's summer vacation now. No, not for me. I have to help my father, so maybe someday we'll live on a farm of our own. Well, I have to do chores too, but, well, guys got to have some fun. Don't you ever go fishing or play baseball? No, if I don't carry water or lug fruit crates or pick potatoes, I have to tend the sheep. Jeff... You say you come here two times a week. That's right, Monday and Friday. How much would I have to pay you if you came for an hour each day? What? I will pay you if you come for an hour each day and show me what you have studied in the books. Are you crazy? No, I have some money I have saved. 
You want to pay me to help you study? Yes, I will pay you 50 cents a week. Well, I don't want your money. I get paid to come here as it is. There's no other way I will do it. I will not come if I can't pay. And I want to learn very much. Please, will you do it? Okay. My father. Over here, by the school. Oh, I'd better go. No, wait. Please, I want you to meet my father. Hey, that dog Valentine, he knows sheep? Oh, yes, father. This is Jeff Miller. The dog is his. I wanted to know you. Is not permission needed to graze them here? Oh, I never heard anybody say anything about it. Jeff is the caretaker of the school. So? If anyone would have to give permission, it would be him. Oh, I don't know about that. I'd better ask my gramps. He's on the school board. Yeah, he's best to ask. Well, I must go now. It's a pleasure to meet you. Same here. He worries so much I will get in trouble. Oh, my folks, too. Jeff? What? Could we start with the books now? Okay, come on. Hey, Miller. Ed Billings will pay a mind to you if he won't listen to nobody else around here. For an elected officer, he's mighty independent. Well, what's the sheriff done now? That's what he won't do. Squatters on the Johnson place. Camped in a trailer at the creek. Man and a boy. Foreigners. I want them out of there. Well, maybe these new people have made arrangements. No, they ain't. I found out. They're trespassing. Nailed up fences. Fixed up that old shed like they mean to stay. Well, it sounds to me like a good idea. The place needs a tenant. We don't need that kind. What's wrong with them? Wrong? What's right? They're foreigners in the first place. Now, wait a minute, Perkins. The sheriff knows his business, and he don't need me to tell him how to do it, or you either. You, you're sticking up for them squatters? Sure I am. Well, that ain't very neighborly of you, Miller. And don't think I'll forget it. Is that all you can say? What was eating old man Perkins? Jeff. Sorry, Mom. Mr. Perkins. Poor man, he's been getting crankier and crankier ever since his daughter left. Well, if he hadn't been so mean to her, she never would have married that harvest hand. And he ain't no bargain. Oh, Gramps, anybody can graze sheep on the school grounds, can't they? Well, I don't think the boy's got any objection to it. Why? I'm letting a boy feed a sheep there. His name's Val Solenko. Him and his father are living on the Johnson farm. Well, so long. Will wonders never cease? Not as long as he's around. I'm going to town. On the way back, I'll stop in to see them squatters and uh, see what kind of friends he's made. Good. It is my son that makes for me the worry. He's a good boy. Always no place to, how you say, settle down. <laughs> Not having the home, the place where to grow. Yeah, I understand. I got a grandson about his age, too. So? Then you know. I say to Valentine, this place good. Here we stay. But I would like to find the owner of this land to ask if I can lease. You know him, huh? Frank Johnson? Sure I know him. Perhaps together we can find him. Well, Mr. Selenko, you have been trespassing on here. But by golly, you've done more work on here than's been done in years, and you deserve a break. Thank you. Hello, George. Ed Billings, what are you up to? Well, I got a summons here, and I thought I'd serve it myself. You Michael Selenko? Say, wait a minute. Did Perkins wangle this? Yep, swore out a vagrancy complaint. Well, doggone it, it ain't fair. Well, that's why I'm here. I want to explain to Mr. Zelenko how he can fight it. How long has he got? I can stretch it out to 30 days. Say, you do that, will you? And I'll see if I can make something happen before that time. So long, Zelenko. See you again. Thank you, Mr. Miller. 17 to the gallon. You figured that out in your head? Turn to the back and see if I'm right. One and seven-tenths gallons, 17 and two-tenths miles per gallon. How'd you do it? On the road, you keep track. It's no fun to run out of gas. When you drive at 40, it's cheaper. Jeff, I really want to learn, and I haven't got much time. 
Oh. Okay, Val. No more kidding around. For Pete's sake. Oh, hi. Is this where you guys been? Your folks said you was busy. He has been busy. Porky, that's Val. Hi. You guys nuts or something? This is school. Well, I've been helping Val. He hasn't had much school. You help him? Well, Jeff is a good teacher. Oh, don't give me that. He only got a C in arithmetic in his last report card. How could he teach you? Did your mom get you into this? No, it was Val's idea. And he's paying me to help him. Paying you? For school? That's right, for school. And I'm learning something, too. It's more than you can say. Oh, you're both crazy. Where's Lassie? Outside, watching Val's sheep. Well, she wasn't there when I came in. Well, maybe she took him down by old man Perkins' place. She takes him down there sometimes, you know, but she knows when to bring him back. Oh, I suppose you gave her a watch and taught her how to tell time, too, huh? No, I did that last year. Come on, Pokey, let's get out of this booby hat. <laughs> Some comedian. Huh. He's all right when you get to know him. I'd like to have a globe. How about some geography? Maybe we both need it. Well, I don't feel like it. And anyway, why don't we just clean up and quit? It's Friday, you know. Okay. Now you tell me if Lassie's gone crazy, Pokey. School on vacation. Get out of here, you crazy hound. What's the matter with you? Get! Leave them sheep alone! Get! Get! You hear me? Get out of here! my sheep and she started chasing them. Where is that Miller kid anyhow? I'll get him, Mr. Perkins. Come on, Paul. Here, you can take it home if you want to study it, but be sure and bring it back Monday. Well, I don't know with all this trouble my father's been having. Don't worry about it. School books are furnished. All the kids get them. You'll get it, too, once you're in school, regular. Jeff! Jeff! What is it? It's Lassie! Lassie? Yeah, and you better hurry up, Jeff, because old man Perkins is mad enough to kill her. Get that crazy dog out of here. Ought to be put away. First she jumps my sheep Lassie and... wouldn't do a thing like that. She did too. And then she turned on me when I tried to stop her. Right I had my shotgun. I... Look, look at her now. She's looking for my sheep, Jeff. I know it. There ain't nobody sheep here but mine. Three of them belong to me. You go on, get home, Jeff. This ain't none of your business. And then take that crazy hound with you. No, sir, I won't. Not until we find Mr. Zelenko's sheep. Mr. Zelenko? Ain't been nothing but trouble since them squatters lit. Are your sheep marked, Mr. Perkins? Of course they are. On both ears. So are mine, but not on the ears. Suppose we let Lassie cut them out, and I will show you. I ain't gonna do no such thing. He's scared to let her try. Lassie! Lassie! Cut out Val's sheep! They're hit, Brandon, Mr. Perkins. All three of them. Lassie, how did you ever get so smart? I told you she could read. Mr. Perkins is very angry. He's already made trouble for us. I wonder what he'll do now. Father? 
nothing. Do not worry so much about this, Mr. Perkins, my son. You should see him today. You know what kind what of... What is this? Valentine, how did this book come here? From the school, Father. You have taken books away from the school? Well, Father, I'm trying to tell you it's all right. Jeff said so. To use the books in the school, maybe, but to take them away, no, this is wrong. Jeff would know if there'd be any trouble. Trouble? Mr. Miller is our friend who tries to help us, and my boy gets his boy in trouble. I shall take the book back on Monday. Not Monday, tonight, my son. Yeah. Someone was here. It must have been Mr. Perkins. We fix it when we return. The sheep will rest for the night. Look, he left a pair of cutters. We give it back to him. Come, Valentine. Agnes. What is it, Dad? Oh, you come home looking forward to opening your mail, and all you get is the... Bills, bills, bills. How'd you know I was going to say that? Did you rarely say anything else. Well, here's something that ain't a bill. Oh, check for a change? No, it's better than that. It's a letter from Frank Johnson saying he's going to lease his farm to Selenko. Oh, that's wonderful. Can I see the letter, Gramps? Sure, son. I'll get it. Excuse me, Lassie. Hello? Oh, yes, Ed. What? The Zelenkos? Oh, that Judd Perkins. Oh, my goodness. Yes, of course, the schoolhouse, right away. That's the sheriff. He said uh -huh. the Zelenkos are supposed to be breaking into the schoolhouse. Oh, that's a lie. Well, that's what Judd Perkins told him on the phone. Judd's on his way to the schoolhouse with a shotgun. The sheriff's on his way there, too, but he'd like you to get there first and hold him off. Well, let's go then. Jeff, get me a sweater in the hall and a jacket for you. Plenty of gas? Plenty? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Lassie, go to the schoolhouse and help Val. Now, go on. What'd you do that for? She could have run with us. Well, she'll get there a lot faster across the fields. You ain't been inside. How'd you get the book in the first place? I didn't say I wasn't inside. I said we were trying to get in to put the book back. Ah, uh, now we're getting somewhere. What else did you steal? My son does not steal. Valentine! Valentine! No! Get away! Crazy! Let go of me! Let go! Come here! Come here! Come here! Stop that! Come here! Oh. Come here. Oh. Perkins, are you out of your mind? Is anybody hurt? I caught him thieving. Perkins, you're a fool! Come on in there, I'll show you what they've been doing. And you better have brains enough to apologize, too. Jeff, go and open that door, will yes, you? Yes, sir. Come on in here. Jeff, sometimes you're just... just terrific. Oh, Mom, there's something I didn't tell you. Val's been paying me to help him study, 50 cents a week. Well, he said he wouldn't study if I didn't take it, so... Well, I figured I'd buy him a globe. He said he wanted one. Oh, I think that's a wonderful idea. Mr. Perkins, my son has been coming to school every day and teaching Valentine Zelenko. Gee, that's a fast. It looks like he's been learning something himself, too. Is that what the kids have been doing? Schoolwork? Studying? Mr. Perkins, if it was wrong for my son to take the book, then it is I who shall punish him. But I, who am his father, understand deeply how he feels to learn. And it was for that reason that... I don't understand. 
idea. My son wants to be a good citizen, a learned one, perhaps a doctor, and I am proud of this. Seems like he's a better citizen than I am right now. I'm ashamed of myself. Yeah. Hi, Hi, Hi. Hi. Mr. Zelenko, this boy of yours wants education so bad, darned if I don't buy the books for him myself. Uh, I can afford to buy the books, Mr. Perkins. It is not the book that we want, but that we should be friends with you, good neighbors. And you're going to have some good neighbors, too. I just heard from Frank Johnson, and he's going to lease his farm to Zelenko. Well, Sheriff, looks like I called you out on a false alarm. I made a mistake. Bad mistake. I figured that. That's why I called the Millers. Everything all right now? Yes, sir. Hey, she likes me. <laughs>